It's runic. It's here. And it's best of one. How's it going, YouTube? It's Vengeful Shadows here, and today we're going to bring you a real quick video about runic and its kind of shape in the meta of Master Duel. Now, Runic is the newest deck that actually just came out one in the newest pack in Master Duel. Now, a lot of players are very interested in this deck. So in this video, we're actually going to go over the ways you can actually play Runic in Master Duel. There's a pure version you can play, as well as a few other variants that some players are attacking either in Runic or Runic in other builds. And we're going to go over those a little bit here today, as well as some stuff to kind of look forward to in the future as far as Runic is concerned. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. Now, what is Runic, you ask? It's a basically a deck full of spell cards, a few fusions, and one really, really good field spell card okay now for that really really good field spell card it allows you to activate all your runic quick play spells directly from your hand during your opponent's turn so that lets you hold all the resources just in your hand and kind of lets you have a responsive deck to the opponent and now all their quick plays uh vary in from stuff that lets you search to let you interrupt the opponent as far as monster negate spell trap negate even spot removal but that's not even the best for, uh, part of the uh, field spell. The best part of the field spell is when you activate a runic quick play spell card, you can target up to three runic quick play spells in your graveyard, put them on the bottom of your deck in any order, and then you draw that many cards from your deck. So that lets you recycle your resources back from the graveyard and then draw that many cards back from the deck. And again, this puts them on the bottom of the deck, so you're not drawing those resources right away, which honestly is really good. And that's why Runic will be seeing a lot of splashing in other decks as well. You can kind of get the utility out of the resources, put them back into the deck, and then draw three new resources to start a whole new combo line or extend out, okay? So that itself is insane. And then keep in mind, guys, the Runic Fountain is not a hard once per turn it is soft once per turn so if you're able to get a whole new fountain which is actually pretty easy to do in this deck you can go for another three card draw okay and again this can be a three card draw during your turn and then a three card draw during your opponent's turn because you can actually activate your quick play spell cards during your opponent's turn and then you get the draw so that is amazing and again we have all sorts of quick plays as far as you know being able to add from the deck to the hand as well spot removal from spell traps spell spot removal for special sweat monsters to your opponent's board and then targeting effects effect monsters and then negating their effects so that's amazing we have all sorts of utility in the deck and then on top of that anytime you use one of the first abilities of the runic quick play spell cards you banish different numbers of cards from the top of your opponent's deck. And as we know in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, with all the combos and combo lines and sometimes multiple combo lines and single decks, banishing one ofs in your opponent's deck will completely ruin certain combo lines, sometimes forcing the opponents to scoop altogether. And that is just kind of a cherry on top of the runic deck. And honestly, in the pure version, we're seeing a bunch of players just kind of utilize that banish ability and completely mill out opponent's decks altogether really early on in the game and then you know essentially you can play a bunch of the spell cards banish the opponent's cards from the top of their deck put them back with the uh, field spell card at the bottom of the deck draw three new cards and then you're good to go even during your opponent's turn being able to interrupt them okay and then not only are their first effects kind of spot removal but we have them kind of lean a little bit harder into that pure runic uh, mill out such as smiting hammer that banishes cards from the top of your opponent's deck up to the number of cards they control and then not only that but each runic card themselves like each of them have the unique ability and then each of them also have a second ability that you can choose to use which special summons a runic monster from the extra deck to the extra monster zone now keep in mind that does have to go to the extra monster zone okay but these fusions themselves are really good and we're even going to get more in the future at least one that we know of um and to start things off we're going to go with hugin the runic wings if this card is special summoned from the extra deck you can discard one card add one runic field spell from the deck to the hand so immediately out of the gate any one of the quick play spell cards can let you go into hugin which lets you discard and they go immediately into the fountain okay and again guys with the fountain this is the main card in the deck the card you want most importantly 
that card that gets you all the resources back, okay? And any of the quick play spells goes into the fusion that immediately searches the field spell, okay? So this deck is insanely consistent, and then you just get trolls on top of it, okay? It, it's hard to explain, it, and once you see it go, the deck's insane. And then not only that, okay but if another card or cards you control will be destroyed by card effect you can banish this card you control instead okay so it has a built-in protection for your field spell and if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect you can return this card to the extra deck it just keeps getting better and better okay so hugan is the main fusion you really want uh, as far as our our friend here gary he cannot be destroyed by card effects and but um, essentially, if he's destroyed by battle, you can target one card in the field and destroy it. And also, if he's special summoned from the extra deck, you can target one non-quick play runic spell in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So if they do happen to kill the fountain, you can use Gary to add it directly to your hand from the graveyard. And then whenever he crashes, you get to blow up one of their monsters as well. Okay, so that's really, really good. And then we also have the runic wings which in its way is a little bit of some protection some gain life points and it adds one of the continuouses to the deck as well okay but the one we want to mainly focus on a lot is the hugin being able to get the fountain and then protect it okay now since the fusions themselves have to go to the extra monster zone players are figuring out ways to remove them from those zones as well as maintain the resources so then they can activate more quick play spells on their first turn so they can get that plus three draw okay and that's what we're going to discuss a little bit right now so since they go to the extra monster zone you want to kind of spot removal even in the pure version you want to kind of do that okay so cards such as cyber valley magician souls they've been seeing a little attack in the decks so players have been playing reasoning so they'll mill out spell card or the quick plays to the graveyard kind of fueling the fountain they'll hit into the cyber valley then they can use the cyber valley banish that and the hugin draw two additional cards okay then you can activate another quick play to get one of the other fusions out essentially fueling the fountain putting them back drawing three you can kind of see how this is getting a little bit insane you can generate a bunch of resource off this it's kind of same for magician soul you bring out the magician soul when you got the fusion on the board you can even kind of remove some of the quick plays that aren't as useful in your opening hand straight to the graveyard once you activate your third spell card all three can go back to the bottom of the deck and then you draw three new cards kind of extending out into another combo line okay and again if you got get another runic fountain maybe you open one you can go into hugin again discard it go into fountain number two and then you kind of reload up the graveyard so you can kind of get those additional draws all right that is kind of pure runic you just bring out a bunch of quick plays you know use the quick play spells bring out your fusions use other ways to bring out that spot removal for your own fusions so you can keep generating more resources and then play during the opponent's turn hitting their cards using the resources against them up vanishing off the top of the deck that's kind of the pure version that leads to deck out and again a lot of the pure versions are decking the opponents out but that is not the only way you have to play this in the tcg we became real comfortable splashing runic and their kind of honestly their utility in other decks because they are very versatile and as we're seeing from their fusions they have level two level three and level uh four right there and we can see them splash in a bunch of decks now we don't actually have sprite out right now in master duel but that will be coming down the pipeline that and tier limits and sprite with runic is insane considering hugin which is the one you want to start it out with is a level two Okay, Sprite with frogs, all sorts of that, that will be coming down the pipeline. Think, you know, with that rank two plays, they got the downer magician straight into Zeus. Again, guys, so if you're thinking about picking up Runic, I do consider it because, again, in, in the future, this deck will be really good. They've even seen some kind of neat little plays with uh, Achirius coming down in the future. Their interruption with an Achirius Sunflower and the new, uh, you know, we got the Mole Cricket coming out soon. Adds a little bit of flair to the deck. So if you don't want to play pure runic there are so many options you are not stuck to it the fact that you have a card that adds any of the in archetype to the hands you have monster negates you have spell trap destruction you have monster spot destruction and all of them again 
make any of the fusions. It allows attacking them in a deck with your fountain that much easier, especially since the fountain is searchable essentially through all the quick plays. We've even been seeing some decks right now use them as synchro support that from fabled shout out to mr kodak but i know we've been seeing some of the fabled cerebral eh, bit get actually teched in a bunch of decks and then we have seen red rose dragon and some of the support for the red roses as well tacked with the runic builds now that's for synchros again we can easily kind of spot remove one of them with magician souls using things like dark the dark charmer and nightmare phoenix for more spot removal on the opponent's board or stealing some of their cards from the graveyard to kind of even link climb harder but you can even go really unique with the build of runic just allowing you to bring out the hugin the runic wings immediately getting you the fountain but then we are seeing some players actually tribute off the Hugin Wings straight into Vanity's Fiend, into Majesty's Fiend, completely locking down the opponent's deck. So not only would you cut off either their special summons or their monster effects, but now you have a Runic Fountain that is allowing all of your quick plays to activate from hand, which are all interruption, all banishing cards from the opponent's uh, top of their deck, which as we said is really good. But then you are able to just get all the resources back. So in decks that are kind of stall, a little bit more Floodgate, like the Vanity's Fiend, Majesty's Fiend deck, Runic, amazing for anti-meta, as well as meta deck splashes. You could even get crazy going to Zaborg. Like I said, it's kind of up to you. So if you are thinking about picking up Runic or a little confused about it, in Master Duel, I do very, very much recommend picking it up. It's not very hard to use. Once you get it down, it's actually really simple, really fun, and actually extremely splashable. And in a way, it is future-proofing your decks. Because again, when we see Sprite get released, when we see new Naturia stuff for it get released, even with a little bit of the tier limits, but especially Sprite, we're going to be seeing decks like runic get splashed into those just for those easy rank two plays and then being able to draw three new cards back to the hand and guys hopefully you got something out of this video i want to make a little bit short very brief again runic is basically about bringing out some of these resources and then drawing a whole new hand of three and then kind of maintaining a little bit more stability in other decks so if you liked any of this or got anything out of it, do consider dropping that sub. We're trying to get our numbers up, and we really have been, and we do appreciate all the support. So guys, stay safe. See you next time, and suck it, nerds.